We need your help. Open the WVLT News app. We want you to vote on this. There is a uh, basically a living fossil living in our East Tennessee rivers. It grows several feet long. It's a beautiful little creature, and it? it's called the hellbender, but it's disappearing because they're so hard to find. Scientists want your reports to help track them. We're asking in the news app, have you seen a hellbender in the wild? Quick way to open the app, QR code, bottom right corner of your screen, you can vote through the story that we're about to show you from Ben Cathy. He learns how stronger floods have endangered that animal and our rivers. It's definitely a different animal. These are our mountains test animal, an indicator of trouble. So uh, it's America's uh, giant salamander. Michael Freak wants to locate that increasingly rare giant. You know, it's getting onto a two foot salamander they had no idea that that was underneath them as they were tubing by the team already narrowed down possible locations using e dna that tells them which streams showcase the salamander there aren't that many there's only a few spots in tennessee that will still have healthy populations geronimo silva is working on his phd at ut he said hellbender numbers have been dropping the last 40 years oh, so they're braving the ice cold doe river to find the hellbender holdout. So it's it's almost like a little bit of a rush to be able to find these animals, but you also have to know what you're doing and be delicate. Which means putting the rocks back with permission. All the people doing this kind of surveys have over a decade of experience. And searches are not allowed in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, but experts there say numbers are also down. It's, it's kind of like a mini Smokies. Monica Johnson runs Roan Mountain State Park, and she wants answers. Knowing that the hellbender is in a threatened species, um, just kind of wanted to do our part. The abundance at the park is it's very low. Silva and Freak only found two adults over a weekend's work. How long is he? It's like 40, 49.5. Like oh my god, that's huge. They'll get this tag, a passive interactive god. transponder, and then they're back in the river. Their future is on our hands, and we have to do a better job of being stewards of the land. There's nowhere else for them to go. They can't switch streams. Water quality has to be very good for the hellbender to survive. Logging and mining muddied their homes, dropping their numbers. If those rocks get covered up by sediment, it's all over. Now, we've had extraordinary rain events that just scour rivers and move massive rocks. And I think our feeling is we've had some significant mortality events during these crazy flood events. East Tennessee is part of a larger trend. Floods are not only becoming more common, they're also more intense. Our partners at Climate Central have tied flooding frequency and intensity over and over with climate change, and we're seeing it in our mountain streams. And in areas where you have frequent floods, there's, there has to be an impact uh, on, on you know, the ecology and behavior of these animals. Still more to learn and more to raise. This is the Nashville Zoo. They've got 15 breeding pairs with the hope to reintroduce hellbenders to the wild. It survived a lot of change and my friends and I, my collaborators and I just determined that, that they're not gonna be dis they're not gonna disappear on our watch. I voted, I said no, and as soon as I moved to East Tennessee, I saw those lived here and I've been fascinated by the hellbenders. Uh, they're listed as endangered by the state but the U.S. Congress could work on some things to protect them. What'd you find, Ben? Yeah, a bipartisan bill is called the Recovering America's Wildlife Act. Money from that would specifically aid the hellbender and other local East Tennessee animals. I asked Senator Marsha Blackburn about how she'd vote. What we want to do is make certain that there are funds that are there for the Smokies. Celebrate that these monuments, these places, these uh, portions of history have been well preserved for future generations. Senator Blackburn said that this bill would likely appear towards the end of the term. Now, we really appreciate you guys interacting with us. You can keep that going on our web exclusive story on the news app. We meet other experts in the field that you didn't see in that piece. If you're interested in the piece, you'll want to give this a read and let us know what you think in the comments section on social media.